you're getting ready to fire up the barbecue or take a picnic on the road this long weekend, are you ready to make sure that the food is prepared and stored safely? And we've got some tips for you today. Brian Thompson is the Associate Director for Health Protection and Dine Safe with Toronto Public Health and joins us now live. Good to see you, Brian. Thanks for joining us. Many people firing up the grill this long weekend. What's the number one mistake that people might make? Well, one of the number one mistakes that people might make is, is just remembering to wash your hands. Washing your hands is probably one of the easiest ways to protect against foodborne illness. And the other thing is, too, is looking and making sure that um, food is being cooked thoroughly and, and, and properly. Wash your hands before cooking or after cooking or both? Well, wash your hands before you start prepping. But then especially wash your hands if you're handling things like raw meats, raw fish, and vegetables. It's always good to wash your hands before handling any type of ready-to-eat food products. All right, now for the barbecue, just walk us through how to make sure the food is safe. So the one thing is, is that with the with barbecue season coming on, we want to make sure that people are thoroughly cooking their food. So first, we want to make sure that that food is kept refrigerated beforehand. Um, and whether it's at a picnic and keeping that food uh, protected and stored on ice or whether it's in the refrigerator. But once it enters, once it goes on to the barbecue, we want to use a probe thermometer to making sure that those food items are actually getting thoroughly cooked. We don't, we can't just rely on look or feel. We want to make sure that they're actually reaching proper cooking temperatures. And roughly what would that temperature be? <clears throat> So some of the some of the common foods that people would be cooking on their barbecue this weekend coming is going to be things like um, chicken or or hamburgers. With regards to hamburgers, we're looking at trying to get to a temperature of 71 degrees Celsius or with chicken, 74 degrees Celsius. All right. Good to know. And what about uh, picnics? Any advice there? Well, with picnics, you just really want to plan ahead and, and pick food items that are easy to transport and able to stay cold. So making sure that you have your, your, um, your coolers with you with adequate amount of ice or ice packs inside so we can keep those hazardous foods um, chilled properly. And we also want to make sure that we are separating our raw products, so like our meats and that, from our ready-to-eat products like maybe vegetables or fruits and that, so we don't get any cross-contamination. And what about the barbecue or the grill itself? How important is it to keep that clean? Well, we want to. We definitely want to make sure that the grills are kept clean. One for safety issues to to avoid any unnecessary fires, but two, we want to make sure that the grill is clean so that we're not um, cross contaminating our food when it's coming off or cross contaminating our hands when we're when we're working with the grill. It's always key to make sure that you have a good number of sets of clean utensils available, and definitely when you're using the grill have separate utensils for raw products that are going on and have another set of utensils for cooked products coming off. All right, great advice. Can't wait to eat. Brian Thompson with Toronto Public Health. Thank you. Great. Have a good day. Happy Canada Day weekend and Pride weekend. You too. Take care.